A laser welding symposium was held at Jefferson High School in hopes of a new dual credit course possibly being added to Jefferson's welding program. So we're looking at running a program where we have automotive systems in my shop, laser welding, uh, advanced manufacturing, so we have a lot of business owners here too as well. And, and then we have Simon Ingle who's down here and going to talk about how we can incorporate what we're doing and how it expands it to the college level and these kids to get degrees and trying to keep them all here in our city. You ask about what is important about this symposium. As far as we can tell, Jefferson High School is the first high school in the whole United States in the history of this technology to actually consider to embracing this technology to teach it to high school level people. Laser welding is considered advanced manufacturing and it's at the the curriculum is more rigorous than what you would typically see. Um, you're looking at now incorporating physics and, and certain concepts of engineering and mathematics that students are now exposed to at the high school level. And that's the great thing about it. These kids are going to come in at the freshman level. But now with the new house bills passing, these kids can come out and start getting dual credit at their freshman level. So these kids can, can start getting involved in physics, which they would normally do at junior and senior level. Now they're going to start at their freshman level because you've got to deal with a lot of physics dealing with laser welding, a lot of optics. A lot of kids don't know how to work with optics. So that's the great thing about it, too. They're going to get to work with optics. They're going to work with algorithms, using it, and seeing working with jewels and how the energy flows. and it, it's just exciting. I'm just so excited about this.